All right, so now we're going to write this go bullet script here. And it's a very simple script, so I'm just going to kind of show it to you what it looks like. And what I have here is a variable explode transform. Okay, that, that transform represents the prefab that we made called explode. Okay. We're going to mount that into the actual device. Then we have a function on collision enter. So anytime that a bullet hits another object, it will instantiate the explode. So it'll just it'll burst out in flames or whatever you have for your sprites. And this is where the, the magical code that I just want to show you is how to destroy it. So that's it. Destroy game object. Now, without the, the bang, the actual just device would disappear, which would look kind of weird. So that's what I wanted to show you this. This we just covered, so that's why I just want you to type that in. Okay, so it works a lot like this. We have a bullet. It's a prefab. It needs the bullet script, so you click and drag the bullet script down. And it has a p area where you mount explode. Explode is this. So a bullet gets explode, just like that. And then the gun itself, it needs a bullet. So that bullet, you already mounted that, should be over here. So a lot of places to mount a lot of things. Another thing that you should watch out for is the gun spawn. Make sure it's far enough away from the gun so it doesn't collide with the actual gun barrel right off the bat. One last thing that you have to look out for, under explode, make sure it's got auto destruct on or it'll just kind of keep popping in your scene. So all that into place should equal something that looks like this. It's just like 4th of July all over again. Got these, got this, there we go. All right, so this is project three. So the same as, I want you to go in here and you want you to build settings. Here's your web player, project build. Look for project three, make yourself a build folder. Build. Just like that. Create it out, call it index. And this is what you should have. And you can see that box up in the upper left hand side. As I put more and more sprites into the scene, it slows down just a little bit because that one's based upon frame rate. All right, enjoy and go on to the next project. Don't forget to turn this project in.